Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. Back when I was living in Toronto, a friend of mine who was Pakistani took me to his favorite restaurants many times. That is when I discovered this amazing beverage, Kashmiri chai tea, also known as pink tea. So colorful, this floral flavored milk tea is the easiest and fastest version of noon chai. It has a nice smooth taste that any tea lover will appreciate. So let's get cooking. Prior to starting, let me show you the brand I've been using since 2020. It's probably the fanciest packaging ever. They thought about everything. The loose tea leaves come in a vacuum sealed pack to keep their freshness and aroma. After we open it, there's a thick resealable bag to store them in. The smell is so aromatic and see, we simply have to transfer what we didn't use into the provided bag. In my opinion, this is very classy. And no, I'm not being paid for saying all this. All right, let's make the tea. We'll add four large ice cubes to one cup of water, then set aside. Next, in a medium saucepan over medium high heat, we'll add a cup of water. Not the one with the ice cubes in it. Leave that one alone for now. Followed by Kashmiri chai leaves, a few cardamom pods, actually six in total, a couple star anise, the same with old cloves, and a cinnamon stick. We'll stir very well and bring the mixture to a boil. When it gets there, We'll add baking soda and let it boil until the liquid is almost evaporated, about five to six minutes, stirring often. The traditional way is to boil the mixture for one hour in a samovar. We're cheating here by doing a super quick shortcut, okay? So, five minutes later, we should have something similar to this. I know, there's a lot of steam coming up from the pot. We'll now place a sieve over the saucepan, pour in the iced water, and discard the ice cubes. Next, we'll add old milk, then half and half, but many times I just go all milk. Some sweetener to taste, I'm using raw sugar, but use any of your choice, and a couple pinches of fleur de sel. And this is what I use. Of course, We'll stir again and bring the mixture to a boil. Now, be careful and lift the saucepan as often as you need because milk tends to overflow. And we'll boil it for one minute. We'll pour the mixture through the same sieve used earlier, sitting over a large measuring cup, and discard any solids. We'll fill up a mug and garnish with finely chopped pistachios. Oh, yum. And my friends, this is our Kashmiri chai tea, also known as pink tea. With a beautiful, rich, and luxurious taste, this is the fastest way to enjoy a nice cup of this tea. It's not exactly the traditional method to make it, but nonetheless, extremely flavorful and gorgeous to look at. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, cheers!